All right, boys and girls, so we have the typical pick 34-3 and 009 problems. Massive flat spot right off idle. Um, if you stab it and manhandle it, you can get through it, but um, it's not anywhere near where I want it. But I did try the mods that I've heard suggested before, and um, of course... The correct thing is this carburetor is designed to have a dual vacuum advanced distributor and there are people that say that the uh, this will work with a single vacuum advance, single vacuum dual advanced distributor. So it would have a canister on the side and have still have a centrifugal advance and vacuum advance. The problem for me is this carburetor is kind of an oddball. It is a German PIC 34. Um, but where the normal vacuum is, normally this is where the vacuum port is for the distributor, is not drilled. Um, can that even look? Turn the light on. It's never been drilled from the factory. It is solid. I haven't seen one like that before. Um, so I really wouldn't know where I'd actually probably take the vacuum off of if I did do that. I guess I'd take it off from here. I'm not sure. Um... It is a German carburetor, as you can see, made in West Germany. And what I've heard is there are certain ones that won't work very well with the single vacuum advance. They really like to have the dual vacuum advance. It's something about the size of the bypass hole in the plate. So what I have done, for those people that are wondering what the mods are, it did improve it. I will admit that. First off, the, the mods did improve it. It was completely undrivable, and it made it just a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, so the mods that I did was, um, first off, I enlarged the idle jet, and I enlarged the main jet. Mainly, I enlarged the main jet because it does have a free-flowing exhaust, and these are jetted. This had a 125 main in it, and I put a 130 in it. That's kind of standard people do that. Um, I went from a 55 idle to about a 62. Was I used drills, so that, it was about a 62. Worked pretty good. From there, was diminishing returns. Didn't do anything. We also adjusted the accelerator pump to give pretty much a maximum squirt to try and overcome that flat spot. And then the last thing I tried um, was the rivet mod. And what that is is on the throttle plate there's a hole in the throttle plate and I put a pop rivet in there just to see if that worked that did help it it did not eliminate it so you know I haven't looked up the base there's numbers on the base of the carburetor right here right there there's a number there and on the Samba a gentleman had a thread and he had those numbers listed and listed which ones would work with the single vacuum dual advance and which ones had to be used with the dual vacuum advanced distributor apparently there was a difference so anyways I could go that route but um, the thing is the d distributors that you can kind of get now you have the cheap ones and you have the hundred and fifty dollar ones and I was thinking well if I'm going to spend hundred and fifty dollars on this thing and possibly still have the same problem I might as well do something different so what we're going to do is we're going to put dual one barrels on here um, I bought the cheapest set you can get which are empty um, so I have to take all this off and put dual one barrels on there. The reason I'm doing that is because I know that ICTs work and they're a knockoff and copy of them and a lot of people have used them and all the complaints I've heard are just petty complaints about like the hardware. Um, which I will say, there's the box. The hardware that's coming in the newer kits is better than years past. First off, the fuel hose. They used to give you like three foot if they gave you any at all. This sucker is every bit of five feet. It's as tall as the car. And on top of that, where is it? Where is it? Oh, quit moving. The fuel lines are made in America now. It's not some Chinese garbage they used to put in here. So MPs finally heard some of the people's complaints. And they're actually doing people a good job, you know. It has decent instructions. There's one, there's like adjustments, how to adjust the carburetors, how to set up the linkage, and somewhere over here is like the whole how to install 
the carburetors. Um, they're fair. There's a few little parts that kind of you have to read once or twice. They're not horrible though. You know, before it was like in, take off carburetor and install linkage, and it was that was it. This one's actually kind of tells you a little more descriptive. Um, if you're fairly mechanically inclined, you should be able to do this no problem. Um, you know, it's better than it was in years past. So years before, like I say, it was their directions were really garbage, like non-existent if they're there. As far as linkage and stuff goes, you know, some of the hardware is still the old cheap stuff, but what was impressive to me, where did it go, where did it go? Here we go. Something everybody complained and bitched about before. They used to send plastic fuel tees with all the kits. Even Weber and all that used to send plastic fuel tees. They're sending brass fuel tees now. So that's a big upgrade, I think, right there. Um, all the all the hardware's kind of been plated. They do give you the coil relocation bracket, which I thought was cool. And they also give you the heat riser block off plates. And I thought this is awesome because before they used to never do that. None of the kits. They would always, you know, send you the dual car kit and you got to buy these on your own. And of course the guy goes to put this on a stock motor. And lo and behold, he figures out, oh man, I don't have the block off plates. And you have two options. You could weld it shut or you can go to hopefully, you know, like in California, you, you got a Volkswagen parts store down the street. Here in Florida, you don't. So you, you see a lot of guys like run, have to make that. So I thought that was pretty cool they include that because that's extra money that a lot of people probably aren't going to need. But the guys that are going to need that, that's awesome for them. The um, nuts for like the manifolds and stuff are 12 mil instead of 13, which I think is pretty cool because it gives you extra clearance. That's another thing. They give you the um, a new throttle barrel nut. They give you the little extender just in case you need the extension. Um, they give you gaskets for everything. You know, um, they give you the little breather fitting to go in the um, air cleaner. They give you the air cleaners. I haven't looked at the clamps. Ideal 80 clamps. So they have actually upgraded the clamps too. These are not Chinese garbage break the first time you do it. I think that's stainless steel. I just put a magnet on it. But the clamps are even good. So you know, when you hear people complaining about MP and stuff, you know, that's, some stuff is still garbage. You know what I mean? That's just, that's the way it is. But everybody sells it. You know what I mean? Scat, bug pack, every, well, not bug pack anymore, but scat and, and CB all sell some of the Chinese Taiwan stuff. You know, this is all made in China for, you know, like the hardware and whatever, I'm sure. But they've stepped up their game. They've been listening, apparently, you know. And I know MP's being ran by, uh, a new gentleman owns MP, and he's listening apparently because this is cool stuff. You know, to give upgraded stainless steel 8 l clamps, you know, or some people call them ideal, but I think it's pound ounce 8 l um, you know, instead of the cheap Chinese hardware is a big deal. Um, giving everybody the coil relocate bracket is a pretty cool deal. So, we'll test these out, see how they work. They did have gas in them at one point because you could smell it. Um, I still took the tops of the carburetors off because you just don't know in shipping. Like a good example is one carburetor, when they packed it, even though it was in a bag, somehow they hit the styrofoam box that comes in like this. And it had a little chunk of styrofoam in the um, um, fuel inlet. So, you know, I still took that off, cleaned that out, and looked inside the bowls. Everything was clean and good in there. You could smell the gas in there. They don't use ethanol apparently because you can smell the difference it is not the um, garbage gas that you get from ethanol station they actually use like real gasoline um, to run it and um, you could also see on the bottom of the butterfly there's a little tattletale sign right where the throttle shaft comes through where it pulled vacuum pulled the grease that they used to lube the shaft through a little bit and uh, that tells me they actually did run it on a car or a motor so that's what we're going to do, boys and girls. That's what we're going to try and do for the um, pick 34 problems is we're just going to go dual carbs because I know that's the easy way to route for me. I know that will work. Um, like I say, those mods for the pick 34 is adjustment of fuel pump, accelerator pump. Some people even draw out the accelerator squirter, um, idle jet, and usually a main jet change too, depending on what you have other mods. 
if that doesn't work, people try. And I've heard it's like a hit or miss, and mine was a miss. I got a carburetor over here, but they just put a pop rivet. Well, this one doesn't have the uh, thing in it at all, does it? But, there we go. See that little hole there? That's the hole that they're trying to block off. Oh, this one has the pop rivet. I'll put the pop rivet in this one just to see how it works. But they just pop rivet that hole. You might have to pull the stem out to get enough vacuum through, but that carburetor idled perfect. That's the only reason I was trying to use that carburetor is that that carburetor idled amazingly well and usually that's another problem people complain about with these but anyways trying to make it the bug jam i'm going to shut up and get to work i'll see you guys later don't forget to like and subscribe and if um anybody has some troubles like i say go to the samba gentleman has it was under like the type three or the bus page i think it was under the bus page um forum just google it the guy had all the numbers of all the pick 34s that were designed specifically for dual vacuum and ones that can be used as single vacuum dual advance. So if you need that info, go check that out. Don't text me about it because I don't remember it. You just got to use Google. All right, see you guys later.